here's an example of calculating the magnetic force on a moving charged particles. So an alpha particle that is made of two protons and two neutrons is traveling with a velocity v is equal to one half i hat plus one j hat plus one k hat 10 to the negative six meters per second. In a magnetic field b negative 0.5 i hat plus 0.3 j hat plus 0.8 k hat millitesla. What is the force on the alpha particle? What is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field? And briefly describe the trajectory of the alpha particle in the magnetic field. An alpha particle has a charge of 2 multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs is the charge of the alpha particle. Its velocity vector, 0.5 i hat plus 1 j hat plus 1 k hat 10 to the negative 6 meters per second, can be represented as follows. If you can picture moving to the right, moving up, and moving out of the page simultaneously. For the magnetic field, minus 0.5 i hat plus 0.3 j hat plus 0.8 k hat 10 to the negative 3 tesla, you need to picture a field that is left, up, and out of the page simultaneously. To calculate the force uh, using qv cross b, I like to calculate the determinant of uh, the following matrix. On the first row of the matrix, there are the unit vectors i, j, k. On the second row of the matrix, we find the components of the velocity vector. So 5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second, that's in the i hat direction. 10 to the 6 in the j hat direction, and 10 to the 6 meters per second in the k hat direction. On the last row of the matrix, the magnetic field. Minus 5 times 10 to the negative 4 tesla, 3 times 10 to the negative 4 tesla for the j hat direction, and 8 10 to the negative 4 tesla for the k hat direction. And to make calculations easy, I copy the first two columns of the matrix again. So the i hat, the x component of the velocity vector, and the x component of the magnetic field, and j hat, the y component of the velocity vector, and the y component of the magnetic field. The x component of the magnetic force is given by the charge, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, multiplied by, opening parentheses, the y component of the velocity vector, 10 to the 6, multiplied by the z component of the magnetic field, 8 times 10 to the negative 4, minus the y component of the magnetic field, 3 times 10 to the negative 4, multiplied by the z component of the velocity, 10 to the 6. If you're a little bit confused, here's the trick. Starting at i hat and going diagonally downward, I have the two first numbers that I need to multiply, the velocity in the y direction and the z component of the magnetic field. Then I go back by 1 and moving diagonally up back to the i hat and I get the two numbers that I should be multiplying together and subtracting from my first number. So the y component of the magnetic field and the z component of the velocity. With all that, the x component of the force that the magnetic field exerts on the particle is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons. Next, if you look at the green arrow, I've drawn the mnemonic for calculating the y component of the force. So the charge, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19, multiplied by the z component of the velocity, 10 to the 6 meters per second, multiplied by the x component of the magnetic field, negative 5 times 10 to the negative 4 tesla, minus the z component of the magnetic field, 8 times 10 to the negative 4, multiplied by the x component of the velocity, 5 times 10 to the 5 tesla. The y component of the magnetic force is minus 2.88 10 to the negative 16 newtons. 
Finally, the mnemonic for the z-direction is in purple. So starting at k-hat and going diagonally downwards, we take 5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second, multiplied by the y-component of the magnetic field, 3 times 10 to the negative 4 tesla, subtract the x-component of the magnetic field, minus 5 times 10 to the negative 4 tesla, and multiply by the y-component of the velocity, 10 to the 6 meters per second, and we get 2.08 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons. The force that the magnetic field exerts on the charged particles is 1.6 i-hat minus 2.88 j-hat plus 2.08 k-hat multiplied by 10 to the negative 16 newtons. To find the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector, I'm going to use the fact that the magnitude of the force is equal to the magnitude of the charge multiplied by the magnitude of the velocity multiplied by the magnitude of the magnetic field multiplied by sine theta, theta being the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. The magnitude of the force vector will be given by the square root of 1.6 squared plus negative 2.88 squared plus 2.08 squared in units of 10 to the negative 16 newtons. That would give us 3.9 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons. The magnitude of the velocity vector is given by the square root of 0 0.5 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared if we are calculating in millions of meters per second which will give us a velocity magnitude of 1.5 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Finally, the magnitude of the magnetic field vector is square root of minus 5 squared plus 3 squared plus 8 squared if we are counting in units of 10 to the negative 4 tesla and that gives us 9.9 .9 10 to the negative 4 tesla. The sine of the angle that we are looking for is given by the magnitude of the force divided by the magnitude of the charge multiplied by the magnitude of the velocity vector multiplied by the magnitude of the magnetic field vector. So 3.90 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons divided by 3.2 10 to the negative 19 coulombs multiplied by 1.5 10 to the 6 meters per second multiplied by 9.9 .9 times 10 to the negative 4 tesla. The sine of the angle that we're looking for is 0 0.821, which means that the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field is 55.1 degrees. And finally, since the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector is not 90 degrees and it's not zero, it means that the alpha particles travel in a helix around the magnetic field lines. Here's what the solution looks like on two pages. Spread the joy of physics.